Vice President Gold. <laughs> Mr. Pozzolo. When I say Gene, you say Pozzolo. Gene. Gene. All right. And all the other dignitaries that are here, your staff, the folks that have come out, Mr. Sh Mrs. Uh, Shekri, I saw she was here earlier. She's just fabulous. Give her a round of applause as well. The assistant principal, Mr. Poldoli, and Mr. McCarvey is in the house. All right, give them all a round of applause. Let's make a little noise for these folks. I tell you, I'm so excited about being here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I tell you, that, that, that resume goes on and on and on and on. Makes you feel old. <laughs> what are you saying? Go Bearcats, huh? Woo-hoo! 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 Wow. <laughs> you know, I used to play football, and uh, you guys have to make a little bit more noise in order for me to get out there. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys so much. This is our first high school. So you guys will go down in the record books. This will be recorded in state history. This will be documented, sent to the governor, and we'll tell the governor all about this particular campus and how you were the very first. The other important thing I think about this is that we were just speaking with uh, a couple of your, your staff, faculty folks, and we're talking about, let's put together, make this a job fair as well. And so next year, we're going to take a really good look at seeing if we can bring out of these various different opportunities that exist in the state of California for employment, summer trainings, and jobs, and so forth. I know none of you are thinking about having a job, are you? <laughs> well, let me ask you this. How many of you are thinking about having a brand new car? All right. How many of you are thinking about not being homeless? All right. You know what I mean? Well, you might start thinking about a job as well. <laughs> and so we want to be able to enhance your career. This has a connection to the local universities, to the local community colleges. There are a number of recruiters that will be involved. I started with the VITA program when I was actually 16. I couldn't do the, the tax returns, and I wasn't until 18 when I got certified. And so that was, now I'm 21, and so that was about three years ago, and I, you know, so I'm really looking good. No, I'm really, I'm not 21. You kind of figured that out, huh? I'm actually 92. You feel better? What do you think about that? I'm 92. No. Ooh. So I want to thank all the folks who, who have come out to to, to support this, Coca-Cola, give them a round of applause. California Education Solution, they've done here, give them a round of applause. I also want to bring my staff out here today. They're in the halls, in the lobby somewhere. I want to thank them, and they, they've done such a, a fabulous job. Please give them a round of applause. You know why I'm asking you guys to clap so much? Uh, because it's cold in here, and I figured that this will warm things up. No, in all seriousness, one, one of my fundamental beliefs is that power is measured by one's ability to empower others. So if you ever want to be a powerful person, the way you do it is to connect with someone else and empower them. So I want to say to each and every one, to the extent that I can be of any service, if you're going, if you're applying to universities and colleges and so forth, Make sure that I'm in a position to write you a letter of recommendation for the work that you're doing here today. If you want to uh, visit and you're looking for summer internships and jobs of that nature, uh, let me assist you if I can, okay? Can I count on you to reach out to me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, my name is Alfred, and you can call me, what's your number, Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jerome Horton's my name. So uh, today we're going to be helping folks. Let me tell you a little bit about this program. The, the VITA program uh, is one of the most significant programs in the United States that helps poor and, and, and middle income individuals. And individuals that are working on part-time jobs, they're able to access, as you know, 
$6,242 from the federal government. And last year, we, the state government set aside $384 million. And so our goal is to give away a billion dollars. How many of you can say billion? Billion. Billion. How many of you can use a billion dollars? We, okay, raise your hand again. How many of you can use a billion dollars? Okay, now all of you that have your hands up, turn around and look at those who don't. They're your future, future employees. <laughs> just kidding. All right, just kidding, just kidding. Um, last year we gave away $66 billion. And if, with your help, I believe we can help even more people. And it's very important what you do today. We don't realize it. When we're doing tax returns, we're learning tax law. We're learning about auditing. But most importantly, we're learning about people. We're learning how important it is to help someone else, to engage in the life of others in a very significant way. You'll be surprised. Some of the people that you will help today will might even share their story with you. But I'll share a couple of stories that I've heard. Is that they wouldn't have their medicine if it wasn't for people like you helping them with their tax returns. They wouldn't be able to pay their health care. They wouldn't be able to send their kids to school if it wasn't for the six or seven thousand that you're going to help them receive today. Some of that money will go to pay for books for kids that are in colleges. Some of the money will just simply go to feed children all over this world. We live in a country where one in every six individuals experiences hunger every day. Here in the state of California, 25% of all my citizens live below the poverty line. In Los Angeles County, there are 44,000 individuals that are homeless. And in your own way, in your own way, today, you're gonna to make a huge difference in their lives. And so I wanna ask that you do me a favor, if you will. I know that each of you, somewhere, have one of the most valuable gifts you can give to any individual that you'll see today. And I want you to give it away. I want you to give that precious gift that all the important gift that you have. I want you to give it away as often as you can. The interesting thing about this particular gift is, is that it's constantly replenishing itself. And it's an easy thing to give. And that's just simply a smile. That's it. You give away a few smiles. You say thank you to a few folks. You will change a person's life. Let me see you smile. <laughs> Another thing is, is that uh, never fear to ask questions. My mother used to tell me, Jerome, never, never be afraid to ask questions because if there were no questions, there would always be a problem. Questions are what solves problems. And so let me encourage you to ask all the questions that you can. Let me demonstrate. Alfred, can you come in for a minute, please? Thank you. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Alfred, can you take your right hand and touch your left ear? Can you take your left foot and hold it up like this? <laughs> I'm not dressed as a hokey pokey. Can you, <laughs> can you turn around? See, when you ask people, you didn't have to do that. You ask people questions, you could get them to do stupid things. <laughs> and he's a very, very smart, intelligent guy. Give him a round of applause. All right, any questions for me? Wow, that's easy. Yes, sir. Was it difficult getting to where I am now? Um, looking back, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, but everything in life had, is, is a challenge. And so it's important that you first understand that you're up for the challenge. 
There are very few challenges out there that you can't meet uh, with a little persistence, a little dedication. It's really simple. So uh, did I ever think I would be here, Chairman of the Board of Equalization, right now, uh, member of the Board of Equalization, representing nine million people? Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, but you know, we just kept being persistent, kept moving forward, kept trying to just help people and do what we can. Uh, it's when you find the vacancies and the voids in life, and you feel that. A friend of mine, um, he's not a very good friend of mine, but he is a friend, I guess, you know. Uh, Bill Gates. Uh, Bill Gates, uh, he, learned early in his life that if he could figure out how to empower other people to be creative, how to empower them to be, to use their ingenuity, that he could become a multi-billionaire. And we have evolved from a manufacturing to a technology to an information state where information is power. If you learn how to do taxes, begin to help others, begin to hire others. You know, there was one experience I'll share with you guys, it might be helpful. Uh, when I first started with the Board of Equalization, I was going to a lot of retirement luncheons. And I got a little frustrated, I said, well, let me quit. And I was talking to a friend of mine who's a multi-millionaire. He asked me, he said, Jerome, why did you go to school? I told him I went to get a good education and so forth. And he said, well, why did you go to college? He said, I went to college to get a good education so I can get a good job, so I can live a good life, you know, so I can travel and do all the things I want to do and so forth. He said, that was a terrible mistake. To go to college to get a good job is not what you want to do. When you find yourself going to college to find a way to improve the life of others, to create opportunities for others, that's when you headed down the path of a Bill Gates. That's when you begin to walk the path of a President Obama. That's begin when you walk the path of folks who have reached out and helped people for no reason and for no compensation whatsoever. And that's a much better path for you. All right, any other questions? Sir? What would you say your best attribute? My best attribute, you. You are? The people I serve is the best attribute that I have. No bear cats in the room? <laughs> How'd you guys put bear and cats together? Help me out. <laughs> it's a really, I like it, it's really cool. You know. They're ferocious. <laughs> Bear cats are one of the most persistent animals that are out there. They're the most courageous animals that are out there. You push a bear cat in the corner, you're going to catch it. Heck, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's, I had to say that because I want your cabinets. <laughs> Walk with me off the canvas, I'll tell you what I really think. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so very much. I appreciate your work you do. I'll be here for a minute. Look forward to working with you.